Assemble your table base upside down on a flat work surface. This could be the workbench or a shop floor. After cutting your aprons and legs to size and drilling pocket holes, attach a long and short apron to one leg. The outside face of the leg and the outside face of the aprons should be offset by about one quarter inch. Use glue and two inch pocket hole screws to secure the parts. Add a second leg to the short apron, followed by the remaining long apron. When those have been secured using glue and screws, add the remaining legs and short apron in the same manner. Flip the table upright and cut four corner braces that will reinforce the leg joint. Glue the braces in each corner, securing them with two inch long screws. Complete the corner braces by drilling pilot holes and driving one quarter inch lag screws with washers into each leg. Complete the table base by cutting the stretchers to length, drilling pocket holes, and installing between the long aprons with pocket screws. Complete your parts preparation by cutting the top slats to size, sanding all the parts, and applying your choice of stain and clear finish. After the finish is cured, place two scrap boards on the floor and place your top slats with their best face down on those scraps with the ends of the slats flush to each other. Center the table base on the slats and secure the slats to the table base by driving pocket screws through the aprons and stretchers into the slats. Complete your table by adding some furniture glides to the bottom of the legs. It is time for a bench. To make the end assemblies, cut a six degree angle on the top ends of the legs. Place them on your bench with a one quarter inch spacer between the legs. Center the leg brace on the legs with the bottom flush and trace the angles of the legs onto the brace. Remove the brace, cut the top shape with the jigsaw, center the brace back on the legs, and secure with two and a half inch screws. Notice we drilled pocket holes in the brace. These will be used for securing the seat slats later. Cut the stretchers to size and drill pocket holes for attaching the top slats. And begin the assembly by securing a stretcher to one of the leg assemblies with glue and screws. We used a scrap to support one end of the stretcher while we drove the screws. Add the remaining leg, stand the bench upright, and add the remaining stretcher. Again, we'll use glue and screws. Cut the seat slats to size, sand them, and apply a finish as you did with the table before completing the assembly. Position the first slat on the bench so the bottom edge of the slat aligns with one of the edges of the legs where they are spaced one quarter inch apart. Secure the seat slat using pocket screws. Complete the bench by adding the remaining seat slat, securing with screws. You can build a pair of these budget benches and table from Dimensional Lumber for less than $150 in materials. It's now time to let the banquet begin. <laughs>